What do you think about the Colin Kaepernick workout? There are skeptics that say it's a PR stunt. It does feel like it could have been executed a little bit more smoothly from the NFL standpoint. But where do you stand on this? Well, I think you just hit the proverbial nail on the head. Irrespective of the intent, whether the intent was sincere or whether it was a stunt, as you just indicated, it's been put together in a very haphazard manner. Um, If you want to do something like this, again, if the intent is sincere, you don't just give three days notice. Uh, We still don't know who's bringing the receivers. Is the league providing the receivers? Is Colin supposed to get receivers together on three days notice? So, again, I don't know the intent. We can all speculate what it is, but irrespective of intent, if this has not been well executed, and I guess now it's in question whether it will even go forward. Having been in NFL front offices, knowing how the machinations work, if front offices learn via memo yesterday, there's going to be a workout on Saturday, is that enough time for NFL front offices to execute travel plans, get their people in place, or are things set up far longer in advance and it's kind of hard to get who you want to a Saturday workout? Well, you just hit the nail on the head with those last few words, who you want. Because is it possible on short notice to get someone anywhere? Absolutely, positively, yes. Can a team, no matter where it's located, have someone at Atlanta on Saturday? Absolutely, positively, yes. The question, though, is who will be available to go to that workout because if you're playing a game on Sunday, you know, or, or Monday, if this is not your bye week, you know, it's not going to be the head coach. It's probably not going to be your general manager. So can every team get someone there? Of course. Can they get someone in a senior decision-making position there? No. Uh, 